Hello everyone, I am Angela Mien and in today's video, we are going to learn all about liquid pressure and how to solve them. We know that pressure is a perpendicular force acting on the surface of an object per unit area. And pressure is measured in newton per meter squared or pascal in honor of Blaise Pascal. In liquids, the pressure is due to the weight of the column of water above. The pressure increases as the depth increases. For example, if you swim in a pool, you will feel that the water is exerting pressure on you. But if you dive into the bottom of the pool, you will know that there is more pressure at the bottom than that at the surface. Which is why, when you dive into the bottom of the pool, you will feel that your ears hurt and your head feels like it's about to burst because the deeper you go, the more fluid there is above you with its weight pressing down. So to calculate the pressure in a fluid at a given depth, we can use this formula. The pressure of a liquid is equal to the density of the liquid which is expressed in kilogram per meter cube times gravity which is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared times the height or depth which is the distance from the surface of the liquid to the point that is being studied which is expressed in meters. You might be wondering where does this formula of liquid pressure came from? So basically it is derived from the formula of pressure wherein pressure is equals to force over area and we know that force is equal to mass times gravity so we can replace that with mass times gravity over area and to find the value of mass we have to use density we know that density is equals to mass divided by volume so if we multiply both sides of the equation by volume we can find the mass so multiply this by volume, we can cancel this one. So mass will be equal to density times volume. So here we can replace the mass here with this value because they are equal. So pressure will be equal to density times volume times gravity divided by area. And we know that the value of volume is equal to length times width times height and the value for area is equal to length times width we can replace these values with this one so it will be equal to density times length times width times height times gravity over area which is length times width we can cancel out now the length times width in the numerator and the length times width in the denominator. Cancel and cancel. So we will have pressure, liquid pressure will be equal to density times gravity times height. So that is how we derive the formula for liquid pressure. It is basically came from the formula of pressure which is force divided by area. And now we can come up with this one. So that's all. Now that we know how we came up with the formula for liquid pressure, let us try solving for this problem. Dr. Dale Florence Onda, a microbial oceanographer, makes history as the first and only Filipino and one of the two human beings to make the first man descend into the third deepest point on Earth, the Emden Deep. Calculate the pressure when they touch down at the depth of 10,045 meters and the density of seawater is 1.03 times 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube. So in this problem, we are trying to find the pressure. So first, let us write down all the given information. So the density of the fluid is, which is seawater, is 1.03 times 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube and then gravity which is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared and then the height or depth which is 10,045 meters and what we are trying to find in this problem is 
our shirt. So that will be question mark. So let's go to the solution. We know that the formula for pressure is density times gravity times height. So now we just have to plug in this given information to the formula. Let me just write that down. So, this will be pressure is equals to 1.03 times 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube times 9.8 meter per second squared times 10,045 meters. So, that will be equal to 1.03. So, to get the units for this problem, We'll just have to cancel out. So this one, we can cancel this one out. And we know that meter cube has 3 meters. So we can cancel one there. So this will be left with meter squared. So we just have to copy that. We will have kilograms squared all over meter squared. So that will be the unit and we know that kilogram times meter per second squared is actually equal to Newton. So we can just copy meter squared here. So this will be Newton per meter squared and Newton per meter squared can also be Pascal. So that will be the unit. So we now know that the pressure at the end and deep is actually 101,394,230 newton per meter squared or pascals. So that is how we can solve for liquid pressure and I hope that you have learned something today and thank you for watching. Bye-bye!